All right. Uh, I still have a button for this. Backlog! 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 What's up, everybody? It's backlog time. Will, what is the backlog? Backlog is a segment of our podcast, the uh, Wolf Den podcast, where we go through our backlog of video games. Every game we've ever bought goes into an Excel spreadsheet uh, and that we use to catalog over 30, no, 40 years of games because I'm I'm going to die Jesus soon. fucking Christ. <laughs> Every game we've ever bought goes into an Excel spreadsheet. Today, we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. How many games do we have? Uh, we updated the list recently. Yeah. We are at like just, 959. So I haven't added uh, a lot of Switch games. But okay. We're at 249. 249. And that is Bomberman 64, the Japanese version. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. There's a lot of Bomberman. There is a lot there's, of... There's... I think in a it's very in annoying North America and we got like three Bomberman games on the N64, whereas in Japan they got like fifty. Yeah, but they're named. They weird, got different. They things. got two Bomberman sixty four twos over there. Yes, yes. So, what is this one? I have here. It's labeled Bomberman sixty four brackets Japan. I don't know if that means. Uh, it's Bomberman, the Japanese version of Bomberman 64, or it's a special version of Bomberman 64 okay, ho- hold on. made for we're Japan. Gonna, we're going to go through this list. We got <laughs> Bomberman 64, which released everywhere. Then we have Bomberman Hero. Okay. If that released everywhere, different game. Yes. Then we have Bomberman 64, The Second Attack, which released in Japan and America. And that yes. is Bomberman 2. Yes. But then, in December of 2021... Bomberman 64 launched for the Nintendo 64. <laughs> so, what? Jap, J- Japan only four player support unrelated to the 1997 title of the same name. So, what the fuck? Why do I we don't, have? I don't remember. I'm trying to. We definitely don't have that. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> Bomberman. Bomberman 64. Japan images. It's giving me the one we allegedly don't have. I, I think the one that we have is just that one. This cart. Yeah, that looks okay. familiar. Yeah, okay. that, which is just regular Bomberman sixty four. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I, we're, we're okay. We're good. All right. We, we figured, figured it, out. it out. We have the. We figured it out. The first, the first Nintendo sixty four Bomberman game, Bomberman sixty four. The Japanese version of it. Um, I, we're we're eighty five percent sure yes. that that's the, we're that's gonna the assume one that we it's that and yes. not issue a correction. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up the gameplay now. Uh, I really like the Bomberman sixty four games. Yes, uh, uh, Bomberman. There's not much you can actually. Hey, you know what? This is the Japanese one. There you go. There's uh, not a lot of. Um, variation you could do with Bomberman. <laughs> no. Uh, although I think Bomberman Hero like tried to be a little bit more of a platformer type of Bomberman game. Yes. This one is like a traditional grid-based blow shit up Bomberman game. Yeah, and I liked this a lot. I yeah. think I think we rented it a lot. Yes, because yeah. you know, Bomberman's cool. We we like Bomberman a lot. Yeah. We were big fans of Bomberman on the Sega Genesis. Yes. Uh, I've been liking the Game Boy games recently. Game oh, Boy yeah? games are very nice. There's side-scrolling ones that act like regular bomb. It's side-scrolling, but the bombs place in the same way that they do when you're top-down. Interesting. It's, it's pretty cool. Are those the? That's not the Bomberman Max games, right? Because I know I think those are RPGs. I think the Bomberman Max games are RPGs, but they're still level-based. Okay. It, it's a. It, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of Pocket Bomberman. Got it. okay. Yeah. Uh, but this is Bomberman 64. Yes. Uh, it still levels, but like you said, it's a, it's sort of a grid system, but the, mm-hmm. the levels, uh, are big sandboxes that, yeah. that you have a lot to do and, and, and go about with. Mm-hmm. Um, I played a little bit of this recently. I don't remember why. Um, but I enjoy it for the same reason I enjoy all the other Bombermen. They're yeah. all kind of the same. Right. Well, I mean, the big... It's like a it's like a big puzzle. Yes. 
Uh, but the big, like, the reason why I like Bomberman, or the big selling point for me at least, is always the multiplayer of Bomberman. They, they've always had great multiplayer aspects. Mm-hmm. Um, and this one, I mean, it was the first one in full 3D. So, like, you get all these new abilities and ways to, like, attack your friends. But still keeping that, like, classic Bomberman, like, grid that yeah. you have to, like, you know, find your friends in stuff yeah they did uh multiplayer with the one on the nintendo switch and that was kind of fun yeah uh and then they they released an only multiplayer version right didn't they of bomberman r yeah bomberman r online wasn't it and then it like had like youtube gaming integration (laughs) and shit and, and you could play with like a million people right yeah they 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 tried to go down that that route. I think there's plenty of room for more Bomberman stuff. Uh, oh, absolutely. I'm saying that there's not a lot you can do with the formula, but there definitely is there a lot you can do with the formula. formula it's yeah. just they didn't do much with the formula. They kind of no. kept it the same through all the millions of different through, like, Bomberman games that they have. They all to, kind of yeah. work the exact same possibly way. to its detriment too. Yeah, I mean, definitely like, to its detriment because it got boring after a while. Once yeah. you got here, we're in 3D now. There's a lot more you can do yeah. with Bomberman, and it's fucking the same game it's always been. <laughs> and like Bomberman's a game like Tetris, where like technically you can play any one and get the same experience. Mm-hmm. You know, you might have your favorite version of the game, but like you can tell anybody, like you know, just pick a Bomberman game. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be that way. It, it could, I know it could. It could change it up a little bit. Like this mm-hmm. has, uh, this has camera angles. Yeah. But like, you could give me a little more. You can make it like actual 3D. You know. Yeah. I don't know. So I like I like this a lot. I mm-hmm. think it's worth playing. I-, I think you should uh try it if you haven't. It's definitely great for emulation. I I have it on all of my handhelds. Yeah. Um. But. The. the- it it could have been it could have been more it could have been a lot better yeah I, I, I liked it at the time it's good to go back to now but there's just not much in it uh and i think i got in my own head because i like bomberman a lot and i like the character a lot and i used to like it when i played it so when bomberman r was one of the launch titles on nintendo switch i was super stoked about it yeah because i was excited to get back into bomberman but it, it ended up being the exact same game that we've had for 30 years already mm-hmm. um so why did i buy this game i think i just liked the uh japanese cover art yeah and i think the japanese one is usually cheaper yeah they they usually they're, it's just the way it is like japanese versions of like nintendo games are cheaper because i think they make more over there they do yeah so i think this is another one of those games that i got at the game store that we filmed the backlog uh f- Video game trading posts. Video game yes. trading posts. I think I got it at video game trading okay. posts. Uh, I like it. I I guess we don't have the uh, no. English version at all. No, we don't have the English version. Next time, I'll have to get the other Japanese Bomberman sixty four. I got to put that on my <laughs> list now. Yeah. Then we can have both. But anyway, give it a try. It's it's worth playing around for a little bit. If mm-hmm. you uh, get bored of it, then stop playing, and then that's it. Yeah. So that's it for the backlog. You never played this? No, we used to no, rent I've, it all I've the played time. it. I mean, I didn't I haven't played it like in like what is it, thirty years at this point. Yeah. So it's just not a lot to it. I know. That, I mean, like I said, that's the problem with most bomber man. Anyway, thanks for watching the backlog, guys. We'll see you later in another episode of the backlog or on a podcast. Bye. Bye.